All right, guys. So welcome to our first. Welcome to our first YouTube <laughs> episode. Channel. What's up, guys? Welcome to. Who's that? Yeah. Khalil is talking. How he's gonna overlap with icy stars? <laughs> what? What's up guys? Welcome to our first YouTube episode. My name is Olivier. This is Olivia. You are Khalil. Khalil and this is Bianca. So we've been getting a lot of questions and today we decided to answer some of them. So I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so the first question is for Olivia. Oh. Olivia, they want to know who's the strict parent. I could say my dad. Why? Every time we do something wrong, he either yells or screams our name. I don't yell. <laughs> you have to do. Oh, I you yell our names. I yell your names because I have to teach you principles. They wake up and they don't turn off the lights. They leave all the lights on. They need to know that you have to shut the lights off when you're not using it. Oh <laughs> All right, so the second question is for Olivier. Olivier, they want to know how did you take the skin disease at first and how did you explain it to the kids? Well, for those of you who don't know, uh, I have vitiligo, which is a skin issue when you lose pigmentation. So I found, about, I found out about it uh, maybe eight years ago, eight, nine years ago. I freaked out at first because it started uh, somewhere uh, particular. So I went to the doctors and I traveled to Cuba and they told me that it was for sure uh, vitiligo. And then it was, it was new to me but the thing challenging because there are much more serious diseases out there and it didn't really bother me much. Sometimes I get questions from kids and they ask me like, why do I look like a puppy? Because I have two colors. But I just tell them that it's, uh, it's, it's how God made me, you know? Nothing special, nothing, nothing bad about it. Everybody has their little health challenges and this one is mine, so that's about it. Okay. The next question is for me. Do you always have a set schedule or are things always crazy? So I do not have a set schedule. Um, I don't have a routine because I could be doing something and something else comes up and then I have to run and do it. I am basically a one-man show, housewife, mom, business owner, multiple business owner, and I have to take care of my biggest baby, which is Olivier. <laughs> so no, I do not have a set schedule. Every day is a crazy day and yeah. new adventures. Alright, so the next question is for Khalil. Khalil, what is your favorite food? Pancake and syrup. Pancake and syrup. Pancake and syrup. Pancake and syrup. Syrup. Next one. Olivier, they want to know how did we meet. Do you want to say that story or am I going to say it? Okay, you can say it. I think you can say it. <laughs> so we went, to, we went to school together like in elementary. Then we each went our ways and we met back again when I was in college at FIU. Uh, how, Where did I we think, meet? I think, I we think met at a bal. I think we met at a, at a bal. Vice bad. And I was in my corner as usual and I saw this lady up front dancing. I was like, okay, gotta talk to her and I went to the number and I I never followed up. I never texted her. You didn't her. take my number. I didn't uh -uh. take the number? No. I don't remember. You I wrote know, to I me on MySpace. True, on 
MySpace. Let me give you tell the story. You wrote to me on MySpace. What's yeah. Then I know we went on a, I went on a, your cousin's boat and he came he's like, let me go pick up my cousin and it was you again. Mm -hmm. And then I think that's when I got the number, no? Yes. And then you we, never wrote to me. I never did? No. So, so what happened? Then we met, we went to a club, remember? Yeah. And it started raining outside. Yeah. And then he asked me to take him home. Gets to rated R now, we can't go. We can go into details. I remember that night. It was raining. It was raining very hard. And I had seen this lady for the third time within a few weeks. And I was like, this was my sign. So I had my car outside. But I went to her and said that I needed a ride home. And she took me home. And here we are today with two beautiful kids. And it was the best thing ever. He said it all. I did. The next question is for Olivia. What are your hobbies? What do you like to do? Um, I love to sing, to dance. Mostly, sometimes play outside, run. I do like soccer. You like soccer? Okay. Now, Khalil. Okay. Khalil, what is your favorite sport? Baseball, tennis, basketball, soccer. What's your favorite sport? Two. You have to pick a favorite. Five hours later. Tennis. Tennis is your favorite sport? Tennis. You know how to play tennis? You know how to play tennis? You know how to play tennis. So this is for you kids. If we lived in the zoo, what kind of animal you would be and what animal you think your, your mom and I would be? What? If you lived in the zoo. I heard, but okay, what? What, what kind of animal do you think you're going to be? A lion. <laughs> Why did you choose and, a lion? And bunny. I don't know. I think and the bunny. lion. I forgot that the lion has mm -hmm. hair. I thought oh the lion was the one that didn't. I got confused. The tiger. The tiger got the tiger. Bunny. What would oh, mom you be? would be a bunny? What would mom be? Oh, mom would be mom, a bunny? Mom, 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 mom. Why what would you want to be? be a bunny? What would mom be, Olivia? Babe. Don't be mean. Don't say anything mean. No. <laughs> Let's say a nice pelican. What is a pelican? The little pink flamingos, <laughs> a pelican or a flamingo? No, a flamingo. No, okay. no. I'll, I'll take that. No, mama. No, a flamingo. Hey, mama. Oh, no, a lion. All right, we're good with that. You have the next question? I have a question for Bianca. If you could be any age for the rest of your life, what age would you be <gasps> and why? That's easy. I would be 23. Why? Because I'm old enough to have a lot of fun, but I'm young enough to be wild and free with no worries. 23 is a good age. If you had any superpower, what superpower would it be, Granny? Mm. If you wanted fly? to be a superhero, fly. 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 Nice, Papa. Um, if I had a superpower, it would be to read people's minds. Why? Mm -hmm. So that I can know what what people are thinking of me. Oh, of you? Yes. Okay. Of read their minds to know what they're thinking and what uh, they're thinking of me. Okay. What Papa. would it be for you? In, invisible, so I don't, so I can skip school. Bye bye, toi, Papa. Oh. Mm -hmm. I can have a superpower. Yeah. <laughs> Go back to in the past. Why? So I can fix a lot of things. <laughs> now I have a really interesting question for you, Olivia. Okay. What chores do you do around the house? Dishes. How many times do you do the dishes? Never, because you never let me. <laughs> so that's your chore? Yeah, I never To do let the me. dishes? And you oh. never let me. Oh, I never let you. I was doing it, you, know, you didn't let me. One, I was about to do it. No, Olivia, no. That was two days ago. 
Yeah. But then you never do the dishes. Because you never let me. Whenever I touch a dish, like whenever I touch the sink, and I'm gonna do a dishes, you're like, no, Olivia, you can't do shows. No, Olivia, you can't do it. No, Olivia, you can't do it. Khalil, what is your chore? Um, Puma. You mop the house? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A chore is something that you do I every know. day. I mean, you never let me do a chore. What's that? You want the house to be so perfect, you don't even let us do our chores. The garbage guy, I take out the garbage because, like, what did you say? Even if we want to. Just go, go and just. The house has a particular way to go. <laughs> I focus on taking the trash outside and dumping it there. I had to remind you because the garbage truck was here. Yes. He actually missed the garbage truck. Yeah. Sometimes I miss the garbage truck. And the trust stays here for three About, days. No, four, four. <laughs> Sixty hundred. Four, mom. Sixty hundred. All right, guys. So we've been at this for the for we've been at this for a few hours now, and I think that the kids are going to take their break and watch some TV, play outside, while Bianca oh. and I are gonna answer okay. some more questions. So, to be ready. Okay, so somebody asked us what are each other's pet peeves. So what would you say? Um, for me, it would be he's really messy. I'm he's messy. yes, he's really messy. Socks everywhere, empty bottles everywhere, water bottles everywhere, clothes everywhere. What would you say yours is? Give me a second, guys. I'm looking for. I'm no. I wanna show her something, so she can tell me who's messy or not. But I don't know. One thing that I really, really, really uh, is the toothpaste. I have to buy my own toothpaste <laughs> because hers is all wrinkled and toothpaste all over the place, and I am very picky. Mm. So she thinks I'm messy, which I am not. But it, her toothpaste is the biggest problem. It's one of the biggest problems for me. Babe, uh, you're messier than me. No. I'm always the one picking up. No, 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 no. Yes, yes. you're the one picking up, but your, yes. place is, your stuff is all over the place, so you have to pick up your stuff. No, you're the... First of all, I don't even have many stuff. I don't even have a closet to put my stuff, so I barely have like five shirts. I wear the same sneakers every day and same shorts, kind of a, my workout shorts. So there's no way I can be messy because we're like in a boot camp home. House has to be clean, like while you're eating, you haven't finished swallowing yet, you have to put it in the in the sink, you have to wash it. So that so, shows you that I'm not... Yes, but that doesn't mean I'm messy because I have to eat in a plate. So now you have to do like me. You buy plastic forks, plastic plates, so you're done eating and you throw it away so you don't have to deal with that. The next one is a really big one. What challenges have we faced together? And there is so much, but what is the biggest one that we, a challenge that we face together? You asking me? What would you say is the biggest one? A challenge that we faced together was a, the politics. I agree. That's the biggest one? To me, that was the biggest one that we faced, we challenged together. Some other challenges we did face to face, like. <laughs> Like on different sides. And I but, wonder why. But the politics was the biggest one. And it was a, an amazing experience because no school, no education, no, no book, n no place in the world would t teach you uh, what we've learned in the last few years. So it, but was, it, was, a, it was a blessing. It was really tough. It, it was, was really very tough. tough. It was very tough, but it was a blessing. Like to me, it was a uh, among the blessings in, in, disguise. in disguise. Blessings in disguise. All of our challenges yeah. have been blessings in disguise. You know, like I agree. We hit a wall, and then right after that wall is better days. So I'm, I'm here we are today. The reason why politics was a big challenge for why? us why? as a couple. Why? I was 23. Um, I had Olivia, my first child, and I felt like I had 
it, it wasn't my life that I was living because I had to follow certain rules and I had to be careful on certain things on how I talk so it was a big challenge for me as a young lady living in the spotlight and not being myself Whew. I had lost myself as a person and the reason why I give a hundred percent to the business that I'm doing now is because I found myself again because in those years I lost myself so, so guys you see she is getting emotional about certain things so I think for the first episode we're gonna keep it a you know keep it light you know and, and maybe if you guys want to hear more about it you subscribe and you like <laughs> and you comment and then we'll go deeper into things the next question is very easy very simple what would you change about each other so what would you change about me yeah what would you change about me <laughs> There's so many ways I can go about this. Wow, I'm that bad. <laughs> no, no. Except okay, this. so you answer first. Me? Because I don't know what I would change about you. What I would say is not PG-13, so. I mean, the first thing, the, the only thing I would change because uh, I think that it drives her to make most of the mistakes is the lack of patience. She's very, very, very impatient, I think. And maybe not so impatient and not so stubborn, but a mixture of both. So I don't know if it's more stubborn or more impatient. Because when wifey is focused on doing something, she could care less about what's a she could, what's on her way. That's she's a good going, thing. She's going for you it. You want something and you go for no, it. I know that, but then what happens, for example, sometimes you lose. Whether it's financially, whether it's emotionally, sometimes you have to take things through. Okay, so I think that I would uh, add some patience to, to her character because she's very, very, very determined, which is amazing, but so determined that sometimes she doesn't even look at what's ahead of her and she just goes full force. And sometimes, you know, you, you might hit a tough wall and then things get hard. So. I respect, I appreciate, I love, and I admire the determination, the drive, but with more patience, it would be like the perfect combination for ultimate success. Especially towards me, she has no patience for me at all, so maybe it's just a personal <laughs> thing. I'm trying to think about it, I swear. So maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> No, because what I want to say, I can't say it, so... Mm. Okay, so the next question <laughs> is... What's the longest you've done without taking a shower? This one, I can... For me, I shower too many times a day. And I have a witness here. It's true. About three times a day. About three times a day. And I would love for her to say how many times she showers a day or how long she can spend without showering. That's putting me on the spot. This might be a little bit disgusting to you guys, but I could spend days without showering. And that's maybe because we are on camera. <laughs> I got you! The Matelli crew, I got you! <laughs> oh my god, no! Next questions. Three things that we cannot live without. For me, I want to go with God first because without God, I wouldn't be where I am. Number two would be my family. Number three, my phone. I cannot live without my phone. My business, everything is in this little thing. What are three things you can't live without? Well, you said two out of three for me. Hey, That's I'm fine. a... I'm a I'm a strong believer. Yeah, I think that God should be number one on the list. And everybody who knows me knows that I'm a family guy. So maybe I'm gonna have to give two extra to 
to not do a complete copy paste. And uh, how she feels about the phone, that's how I feel about the gym. I have to be constantly doing some kind of exercise. I love the gym. I love to, to work out, do any kind of sports. Uh, two more things for a bonus. What? My wife is number. My wife is on the list. I cannot live without my wife. She knows that. You, you have to Probably. think. You have to think a no, lot. No, because they said because they said three. So then I had to oh, come up with something. Well, I thought I would be. No, top because it was a, two. I wasn't even top whatever you, on your list. Well, you put the gym before me. No, I didn't put it in order. Oh, okay. It wasn't in order. The gym still came before me. No. So I gave four in a random order. All right, so what would be a perfect day for you? First thing, I need to go to the gym. <laughs> then after the gym, I'm good with anything, but take the kids out somewhere, give the kids, spend a lot of time with the kids during the day. And nighttime is for me and wifey to have a lot of grown-up time. So if you guys get it, you get it. But that's my thing. Grown-up time at night with wifey. What about you? Well, if you ask me what my perfect day would be, you guys heard his. Mine is being by myself. A day alone watching LMN movies by myself, binging on pizza. That's a perfect day for me. <laughs> what do you want to be when you grow up? What do you think you would want to be? A musician or an actress? Which one do you think you would prefer? For me, one of those. Would you rather be an actress and play in movies? Or would you rather be a musician and be on the stage? Mm -hmm. Just like a uh, That's a hard one. I love both. Okay, which one? Do you want to be on a stage with a lot of people singing your songs and dancing to your music? Or you want to be on TV and everybody's at home and at the movies watching your movie? You have to enter fast because we have a timer. Actress. Actress? Actress. So you want to play in a movie? Yeah. Nice. Sad movie or comedy? Comedy. Comedy? And you, Papa, you want to be a rock star with a spiky mohawk or you want to be a, an actor with, like Frank, with big muscles and be a superhero? A strong pirate. A strong pirate. All right, guys, so this was the first episode. We answered some questions. We have the super strong pirate. We have the actress. We have Superwoman here on the side, and we got the garbage man. It was a pleasure. Don't forget to subscribe, garbage like, comment, man. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 of episode one i'm not sure if i'm gonna be part of episode two three four and five <laughs> <No, laughs> because no, no. <laughs> uh, subscribe like and comment i'm not sure if you're going to see me on the second third and fourth episode because it's a bit challenging wifey is a very very strict person we gotta do everything her way or the highway so i will be behind the scenes supporting the movement i love you guys see you next time <laughs>